What's up, Bay Fam and Top of the Morning YouTube? It's Mr. Bay Area Transparency back here with another voiceover of a cop watch. So, do you remember this douchebag who I just put out a video on yesterday was shining the light in my eyes? Well, I actually went back to the Fairfield Police Department on November 7th to get some paperwork to file for a records request for his body cam. Um, and I ran into him again. He came up trying to give me some false directives and actually reminded me who he was. It was so dark that night, I didn't even recognize him. I could only maybe recognize him by the name. But he reminded me who he was and that we had actually had a, a little confrontation a couple nights before. So, being that I had the opportunity, I went ahead and gave him a piece of my mind. I don't like to do that to the police. Um, I'd rather have a respectful dialogue with them and just keep it on the up and up all the way around. But at times they don't allow us to do that and then I get into uh, Mr. Bay Area transparency mode and give them a piece of my mind and show no fear. So. Here's that video from November 7th, 2020 at the Fairfield Police Department. Um, uh, do you have a complaint form? And a uh, public records request, a FOIA request for a body ca body cam for an officer. So you would like to make a request for that? Because we don't have a form that you would fill out. We just fill out a request form. Uh, do you have one online that they can do? No, it's just you just do a written letter. If you want to do a formal public records act request, you just write us a letter. Oh, okay. So we can just write one down and send if one not, in. If, not, I can just, if you want a police report, you no, no, I'm looking for body cam from an incident from officers. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? No, that's it for now. Thank you. Okay, are you going to continue to stand here? What was that? I said, are you going to continue to stand here? Uh, I don't answer questions. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, somebody has to use the microphone. Oh, they're putting down curtains on me, guys. They don't like me filming. I don't know what they got to hide. Right? Oh. Right behind the door here. Oh, sorry. No problem. You can have a seat if you'd like to continue to record, but you don't need to stand up here with private information up here when we're working, okay? 
Uh, no, I'll stand. Appreciate it though. they like me i don't know what's going on so at this point bay fam you can tell they just closed all the curtains on me on the windows um and i believe that they have officer aaron Bwanga to thank for it i see a bad police officer like that out in the field what do i think i think bad police department and i feel the need to go check them out watch them see what they're doing and see how they're doing it and i can tell right now that the service that i'm getting in this police department isn't good either she has a little attitude you could tell she's very upset about being recorded instead of just accepting the fact that she's a public servant and that is what it is she works for the public and we're allowed to watch them guys so i end up going out into the parking lot and that's when i meet officer aaron Bwanga. let's check it out you don't need to report me, sir. can do whatever i want the only person i'm keeping out of it is her yep, looks like we got an officer here approaching for some reason did you need to speak to somebody? Did you need to speak to somebody? All right, well, you could listen here. All right, so just so you know that this parking lot right here is private parking. All right, there's no trespassing signs posted. So if you do come to this lot, you're subject to being arrested for trespassing, okay? Ha! All right, have a nice day. That's funny. You guys have to trespass me first, Marty. You know Penal Code 602, right? On top of that, there isn't any no trespassing signs posted. You have them for the other parking lot. So watch, let's go over there. You wanna go over there together? I go over there with you. Yeah, you wanna do you wanna see the your no trespassing? It's not for this parking lot, it's for your back parking lot. Has nothing to do with this parking lot. Is that correct or not? You wanted to show me, I wanna listen. So let's go go show me. <laughs> no, come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna make sure I don't get hit by a car. It has nothing to do with this front parking lot. What's your name and badge number? Mike Aaron Bawanga, 1525. Remember uh, I dealt with you the other day when you were flashing that light at me? Oh, you're that piece of shit that flashed the light in my eye. Now I know who you are. It's me, the one so, only. so where's the, show me the no trespassing sign. All right. Cause I can show you the one I saw. You show, be right. I am right. I'm completely right. Which one's posted no trespassing? Prune one or two? Nah, show me. And what's your name and badge number? Yeah. Show me. Because this one, I can walk through here all I want. Matter of fact, now that you guys said it, I'm going to come through here and get every license plate possible. Okay. Right? Show me. Because I can show you at that other entrance where it's that first parking lot only. Cause I saw the sign, I looked before I come in. So this is that piece of trash from the other night, guys, who flashes flashlight in my eyes for no reason. It, the, the cop watch was going just fine, everything was fine. They're about to leave and this guy had to get aggressive for some reason. It, it just doesn't, I don't understand why. What was the point in that? Why would you flash the light in my eye like that? I was just standing there watching you guys make sure everything was cool. You were about to leave, I was about to leave, but you had to do it, huh? You couldn't help it? Is that what it is? No answer? No, I don't have an answer for you. Yeah. Well, it's, it's guys like you, we need to pull off the street. So okay. I'm actually filing a, a public records request for your uh, body cam for that night right now. That's actually partly what I'm doing over here. Right, so. well, good luck to you, I hope you get it all. I, I, I will, I'm just gonna point, prove, the, prove that uh, what you did was foul right so and then walking up right now that these parking lots are both have no trespassing signs there's not a no trespassing sign out here <laughs> now why do you guys lie try to come give directives and so on so you got this clown guys absolutely pointless what he did and
Okay. Well, I'll get it squared away first. I'll, I'll go ask. Okay. All right. Well, until we can prove otherwise, I guess you're right. All right. Do you have any questions for me? Would have called you if I had questions. Nope. All right. Have a nice day. Good luck to you. That's funny, you guys. So this Bay Area transparency, you guys, back in the city of Fairfield. This is the guy I was talking about in the beginning of this video who I, I was doing a cop watch at night out here in Fairfield over the weekend. And he came up and just started flashing his light in my eyes for no reason. Um, it's funny that he just happened to be the cop that popped up for this out here just getting some camera footage out front of their police department. Um, and he was just an arrogant prick, guys. So I'm working on getting the body cam footage. Um, and when I do, I'm going to put that out as well as my footage. Um, he's complaining. He was complaining about the little tiny light on my camera when I'm standing clear across the street from him. Like, what a piece of trash. He's just looking for a reason, guys. So we're going to go check him out. Yeah, this guy's garbage, guys. I was doing that cop watch guys I was getting ready to actually highlight these guys for not saying anything to me and uh <laughs> and this fucking idiot had to shine his light in my eyes guys can you believe that shit we get it figured out yeah so there's only one posted on there and then there's nothing posted here, so we're gonna get some signs posted here. Get some signs posted here. You can't, cause this is this is uh, this isn't restricted. No, what I'm saying is we're gonna put signs on here. There's there's a city ordinance. The signs haven't made it up yet. So there is a city ordinance prohibiting um, non-employees from going to this parking lot and this parking lot. So you were right, which I said you were. Um, but we'll get some signs put up, and then uh, we'll go from there. Cool. So until you get signs, people can come in here, huh? Is that correct? Uh, technically no, but how about it? I'm not going to do anything until the signs are posted. Well, because we, we have to be notified somehow, some way, right? Well, I'm verbally notifying you as well, though, too. You're verbal, verbally notifying me. Yeah, so this I'm verbally so notifying I you. This is private property, so I can enforce the city ordinance now that you've been notified. So that I can do. Well, I doubt it. I, I, that, there's probably a reason you only got one sign posted. Damn. We could do either or. I mean, I verbally notified you. We can test it in court if you want. That's fine with me, bro. You, you, you're you not pumping any fear. I'll tell you that much. It, it don't bother me What, either, what is it? A misdemeanor? I got lawyers that'll squash that thing. Especially with your conduct? Oh, shit. We'd probably have your job. So... Uh, good good thing for you I'm done today I'm already going I'm already leaving you just happen to pulled up we got this clown here guys we could test it in court city ordinance is a ticket it's not even a misdemeanor <laughs> this guy's funny hey 
You want to know something? The other night, I was about to leave, and I was going to actually highlight you guys for, for leaving me alone, letting me do my First Amendment right, right? And then you had to come put your cam your uh, flashlight in my face like that. I, I just don't understand it. I was, I'm was i not one of these guys who's out here like trying to shit on all the police. I actually look for good cops so I can point them out, right? But you had to come up and put your flashlight in my eyes on purpose and then act all arrogant. I mean, honestly, if you had that, if you didn't have that badge and that gun, you probably wouldn't be that arrogant. I sense like you're more of a coward than you are a tough guy. You should just do your job as a as a good cop. Be a good cop. Don't be a piece of trash. You know right, what I mean? So, so I'm gonna verbal. I've already verbally notified you about both parking lots. Okay. So if you have any other questions, let us know. <laughs> See you guys. He can't even comment on it. All right. See you later, coward. All right. Have a good one. Yeah. You too. Suck it easy. <laughs> what an idiot. I was trying to make the guy look good. He could have just apologized right here and not even, uh, and, and then he could have made himself look good, guys, but he has too much of an ego to do that. That's the problem. These ego tripping piece of trash officers right here. So they do have a sign up here for this parking lot only. That's the city, city ordinance. And so I'll, I'll go check it out. If it doesn't apply to both parking lots, I'll just come back in. Unfortunately, I got to do it another day. So we got car 113 who's also stalking me like fucking freak so we'll check it out guys as a matter of fact here on my channel why don't you guys check it out i'll also put up the number to the fairfield police department we can uh you know i don't know about you but i'm gonna call and talk about how these guys act so this is the sign to this one parking lot that's the city code right there employees only that's this one parking lot guys look that's where the sign's at that's where the parking lot is, right? It's to this one, one parking lot right here. It's to this one parking lot. And then you got a whole another parking lot, right? You got the driveway ends right here. And you got a whole another parking lot where that clown is right there, right? And then you got a, a fence or something going along here, a gate so you can't drive into both parking lots, guys. So they're they're saying that the that the code applies to both parking lots which i'll look it up and you guys can too and if it doesn't i'll be back and we'll just test it in court see there's nothing on this parking lot saying there's nothing on this parking lot saying that you can't go in it guys so we got to test that city code check it out and prove that it doesn't apply here there's nothing you got that sign over there that little sign over there you got this one nothing and around the whole front perimeter there's nothing i've already walked in and checked it so okay guys so at this point bay fam nothing happened uh that parking lot's open as far as i know i haven't been back to fairfield since but uh you know i'll walk in it again and again and again just like you see right here have a good day bay fam